This is Carmen, and I will be explaining how the cathode ray tube works, what the experiment discovered, and other uses of the ray. The cathode ray tube, which is here, is made up of a tube filled with gas and a fluorescent coating. It also has two metal plates that fit inside the gas tube. When a voltage, such as this one, is applied across the plates, a current in the gas is created. This current, this current creates a ray, the cathode ray, of particles allowed to fly through, making a fluorescent spot at this end. When uh, this now, when a, a vertical electrical field is applied, such as here and here, the ray of particles moves upwards towards the positive charge. From this, we can observe that the particles must have a negative charge since they are attracted to the positive charge. If we apply a horizontal magnetic field, the ray moves downwards, confirming the negative charge. If we apply the electrical charge and the magnetic field simultaneously, the fields can be set to cancel a displacement, creating a straight ray, so there is no movement up or down. The ray can be produced even if we use different types of metals. So the negatively charged particles are the same regardless of the metal. From the laws of electrodynamics and the observed field strengths, it can be derived that the mass of the negatively charged particles is much smaller than the atoms of the metal cathode plate. The particle that creates the this cathode ray is now known as the electron. Um, the observations that have been made in this experiment are the upward when we have a electra electra uh, electrical field, there's an upward displacement um, and that implies a negatively charged particle and when there is a ma horizontal magnetic field there is a downward displacement confirm also confirming the negative charge. And we also know that regardless of the metal there are the same displacements observed so the same type of negatively charged particle is created. From all of this, like I just said, we um, can say that the particles that were derived are much smaller than the atoms of the metal cathode plate. And this is the this particle created is now known as the electron. <clears throat> you this particle um, or this this cathode ray. Um, was used in early TVs to create the image on the front and in instruments such as the oscilloscope and other medic or instruments, measuring instruments. In all, the cathode ray tube experiment led to the creation of a more modern atomic model, including subatomic particles such as the electron.